how to turn Dollar Tree mirrors into an exquisite coffee table. Hey guys, YouTube Essentials here. For today's video, I'm going to be using Dollar Tree mirrors and turn them into a coffee table. This is a requested video and I was asked to use Dollar Tree mirrors to make something other than a wall mirror decor. I'll be starting off by removing the mirrors from the frame. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. I'll be using 14 of these mirrors for this project. So what I'm going to do now is have seven arranged on a foam board to give me the actual size of coffee table that I will be making. To make this more accurate for myself, I'm going to be using a round glass and drawing out a round circle on the foam board and arranging the frames around it. If you are making a wider coffee table, you would have to use a much wider circle for this project. I'm going to be using a hot glue gun to glue the frames around the circle so that it stays in place and then I get the shape of the frames around the circle and then I'll trace them and carve them out. The space that's left is little, so I'll be overlapping this last piece. I'll be drawing another shape on the inside to reduce the visibility of the board when the coffee table is complete. Because the foam board is not strong, I'll be using it just as a template, but I'm going to make the same shape on pieces of wood. Now these wood cutouts are going to be for the top and the bottom of the coffee table, and I'll be attaching the frames to the wood with a strong adhesive. The side of the frame will be facing outside, and this side will be facing inside. To keep these in place as I work, I was stapling it down directly with the staple gun and it made it crack. So what I did was to turn it over to staple it from the bottom. That way it met the wood before touching the plastic without breaking it. Like I said earlier guys, if you want this to be wider, you're going to have to use a wider board and use more Dollar Tree mirrors. On the board, the shape doesn't look too accurate, but that's okay because all I needed was a guide on how the frames are to be glued on a board to keep them together in a continuous pattern.
I made another one. And then I took them out and I spray painted them gold. You can simply glue them together and you have an open coffee table. Well, the problem with this is it's not too sturdy, so you won't be able to keep heavy items on top of this because it's just the frames. Now, if you add the cardboard that come with the frame, it will make it much stronger. Now I'm gonna go ahead and insert all of the mirrors back into each and every one of the frames. I would strongly suggest that you leave the coffee table overnight before you start moving it around so that the construction adhesive would set properly to keep the table strong and sturdy. I've just completed the bottom part. Now this is the top. And when I'm done with the top, all I'm gonna do is use a strong adhesive and screws to attach both of them together. The adhesive is not set yet, that's why you see it shaking, but when it's all set and ready, it will be strong and sturdy. If you are making a wider coffee table, it will be wise to add a board in between the bolt pieces, like this one here. You're gonna spray paint the sides and add it at the top before adding the other piece that goes on top of it. But because mine is not too wide, I did not put wood in between. All I did was just join them together with screws and a strong adhesive. For the top, you can either cover it with contact paper or have a wall mirror spray painted gold that you don't use anymore for the top. This is what the bare frames look like for a coffee table. And I use the same mirror for the top. You can also use a different design of a wall mirror, like this one that I have in my hand. And all I did was to use washi tape by the sides and then I place it on top. The table looks pretty with or without the mirrors, but it is totally up to you. Thank you all so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And for those of you who have not subscribed, don't forget to click on the subscribe button.